Hello everyone, this is Shelly with JS Hobbies and Crafts and I have a wedding album to share with you that I made. I made it for my son Darren and Jessica and I thought I'd film it uh, before I gave it to them as a gift. Anyway, this is really large. This is a 9.5 by 11 inch and I really reinforced the binding on this because it's large, it's got a lot of pages and it's heavy. But I did want to share it with you, what I ended up doing. I thought it came out really pretty. So on the spine and the back. Now there is no closure uh, attachment on this. Uh, Jessica can um, add one later if she wishes. A lot of you know Jessica. She works down at JS Hobbies and Crafts. This is what I did, and she has not seen this yet, so this won't be published until after we get back from the wedding. Okay, so let's get into it. Again, this is very large, and what I ended up doing here is putting their uh, invitation in, and there's a plastic cover here so that uh, it just gets stored there and it doesn't get messed up or anything. And we got some fabric uh, applique flowers on here. And then I added some beads. And this opens up. And another thing you're going to notice is there's no picture mats. Uh, Jessica is a crafter and, and I'm going to hand over the rest of the paper so she can uh, make her picture mats uh, according to all the photo sizes that she gets. So this is meant for uh, their picture together. And over here is just uh, some uh, little embellishments that I did and uh, open this up and she can just tuck or put a little picture in here, or journal. Here, now this, she's having cupcakes and so I made a bunch of these and uh, just with a toothpick and uh, heart uh, punch and rhinestone in those. So I did keep one for a keepsake for her. In here, there is this. So this just kind of slides back on into this little pocket back here. Okay, so back here, what you can stick more photos back here and slide them back like on picture mats or whatever she would like to do or just slide a photo and it will all fit. I put a little journaling card. And this opens up, so she's got a pocket here, um, a pocket over here, this is quite large, um, here. And I did add some uh, silver lettering, and over here what I did was, um, on one of the Tim Holtz um, little charm things, I put their photo in and that. But there's a uh, space here and here for her to lay her photos. Okay, over here. And I'm not sure if you guys can actually see, but the paper is foiled, and um, so you may or may not see that. This is just a large picture mat that slides back behind this large folder, and it's magnetic. And when they open it up, this comes out. So there's place here and here to put a photo, and I thought this was really cute uh, the day I married my best friend. And some places to put some photos. And that just goes right back. And each one of these pages I put some um, lace on the side. Over here um, I left alone because I know that she's going to want to place some photos of the wedding, um, just everything like that. So there's some, since there's a lot of pages in this, there is um, room for her just to stick her photos as well. And over here too, however, it's a tuck spot, so, oh, I got glue on me, uh, that she can get back behind this. And this just opens up. It's magnetic. Okay, next page here. Um, this is a folder that tucks be back behind this folder. And there's places for her there to put uh, some photos. This um, is magnetic and it opens up and there is a picture that I've had uh, when my son and I went to go look for her ring. So I put it in there. She did tell me that um, any pictures I had I could put in uh, that were pre-wedding that she would like to have. So, And I figured right here would be a great spot for them to put a picture of their hands together with their wedding rings. 
Over here is a large pocket back behind, but this is um, a magnetic little um, mini book. And uh, I had a sticker, and I'm not real big on stickers, um, so I did lay the sticker down, and I, I put some the Nuvo drops, crystal drops, to uh, decorate and a rhinestone. And then what I did was I took some satin fabric and made her dress and some lace on that. And then uh, I had some of these chipboard pieces. So when you open this up, this is meant for her to place a picture on her wedding day of her dress and stuff. However, Jessica and I, and oh, this is the dress that uh, we ended up getting before the wedding. So I took some pictures and her and I did go journey together uh, for her. And uh, so uh, finding the perfect, perfect dress, she wanted me to put some of these photos in here. So uh, of all the dresses, uh, you know, it was so much fun, me and her going and hunting and spending that quality time together. Uh, finding the uh, perfect dress <laughs> so we must have oh gosh she tried on so many and they were all so gorgeous but this is the one and then these were some of the others and so forth back here and then there were some extra photos I had that uh, more detail of the dress and oh her and I on our shopping adventure <laughs> so I just tucked those back behind and then she can fill this up with whatever she'd like so Okay, so here, um, this here is their pockets, and this is the Maid of Honor, and a lot of you know the Maid of Honor, and the, and um, this is when they were shopping for it. I don't expect her to keep this one up front. It was just so she knew what exactly uh, this was for. Uh, on the wedding day, they're going to have their photographs, and she can just slide the one of her and the Maid of Honor on the wedding day right there. And then back here is when we were shopping for the dresses. And just some very large pitcher mats in here. So I got four by six and then the mats are uh, quite a bit larger there. So, and these just kind of slide back behind. And then on the wedding day, of course, there will be um, the best man and it's the same type of thing. Now, uh, my son and her have three children together. I have three wonderful grandchildren. So this page is, and they're in the wedding, all wearing matching outfits. So I did put the boys up here and slide a picture here and back behind. Same ideas over here. But this is magnetic. A whole page to that. And back here, all we have is um, some pockets, and then there's these little side pockets that you can kind of slip things um, in there. This is Mr. and Mrs. Okay, the reception, and I left it again open so she can plant some pictures, and she also knows how to make folders and whatnot. So, perfect place, lots of room, and a pocket here. Same here, and she can put a waterfall, she can just plant her photos, whatever she'd like to do. But over here, this is very, very uh, thick. And what I ended up doing um, is extending out this one page and then putting the lace over here so that this wasn't sitting right up next to the spine so it would allow it to turn easily and lay semi-flat. So this is just um, one of those things, and she could put here and here and photo over this. I didn't place anything here in case you'd like to do that. Okay, so this opens up and the idea of this is storage and lots of photo placement. And uh, again, we're, we're good, uh, inner pages are a good uh, a 10 and a quarter inch wide, so she's got a lot of room here. Then down here, same thing. She can put a photo here, however, for me, I'd just leave it alone and just go on the inside. Okay, this. Um, down here, this is a large side pocket. She can slide her photos in there. And she, what I wanted to do is, I know there's going to be a lot of 4x6, so that's what I did here with the waterfall, and I just matted in between there. So there's a lot going on here. Now the reason why I stuck the smaller ones on, and I'm going to show you. Jessica has one of those little Instamat cameras like this that punch out the little 
like Polaroid. And uh, she'll be having that at our wedding for just some fun picture taking. Here's a picture I just took. I didn't have the camera setting right, but that's my little one. Uh, if you notice when you lay this down, it fits perfectly in here, still giving you a border of your uh, of the beautiful papers. That's why uh, they're this, and, and it just came out really cool. So she has a lot of places there for the little Instamat photos. Okay, this isn't over yet. We're almost to the end. Over here, what it is, is we got a double pocket here, back here, and here, and then uh, there's a large pocket here for the fold out, and place here for photos in here. Over here, I left alone, and she can do whatever she wants. Add folders, just her photos, whatever. Okay, over here is just a large pocket, and um, here. Now this is um, a really neat idea. I'm going to show you what I used for that, because it's so simple. This is magnetic. What it is is for her to put all their wedding cards. And I'm going to flop it up, but these are large envelopes, and it they're just stuck together. And let me grab a card, because I'll show you just how much that this will fit. I have a card here, but I wanted to show you exactly how many that she can get in here. Um, here's a very large card, and if you put it in there, you can see that there's still plenty of room just to stack all her cards in here. So um, that is what I ended up doing. So that is the album, and um, there's going to be no tutorial exactly on this since uh, this is an original. But I will be uh, taking certain aspects of uh, what I did. Um, in here and bringing it forward to a tutorial in the future, whether it's a wedding or an everyday album. I'm not sure, but I just thought I would share that. Perhaps you're getting ready to make a wedding album and please feel free to use any of the ideas that you see in here. Happy crafting everybody. See you soon.